all right now it's time to send our image message but before that let's fix a few things here all right let's just finish up the chat and then we can add now the other sending of the image and the video as well and also audio so before we do that let's first fix the is message scene and then also the scrolling and here we need to display the correct data from real-time data from firebase okay here we're just saying online online we need to be checking if he's really online okay so what we need to do here first of all is to fix the scrolling you can see that if i'm somewhere here and then uh, let's say this one is somewhere here and then we send a message okay uh what let's just make this one different so hey how are you all right if we send a message let's send okay you can see that the message is gone but uh this is still here once we receive a message we want to be scrolling to the last message even this one it should be scrolling to the last message okay and then also when we scroll down here this keyboard should be disappearing okay so let's say let's start by fixing the scrolling automatic scrolling to the last message then we'll come to the keyboard and then we'll just continue to the next we'll come to this and then to that as well okay so let me hide it so for the automatic scrolling we need to let's minimize one first we need to have a scroll control okay so inside the chat list here let's uh, have a scroll, a scroll control all right so up here where are we going to initialize it here so let's have a scroll controller let's see if copilot will know about that yeah scroll controller let's have it do it so here's our scroll controller we need to dispose it uh, when we finish with it so here we just need to call uh, scroll controller dot dispose and then here now after this if it is empty we do that else if it has data we we can now show this data okay so here before that we can check okay here yeah okay you can see that copilot already knows okay scroll to the bottom of the list okay so here what we are going to get uh, let's write our own message so that the copilot will do exactly what we want if it won't do it we'll write our own code so here let's say automatic automatically scroll to the bottom uh, uh let's say whenever we get the new message on a uh, new message okay so let's see so let's go click tab here is it's saying uh widget uh, so widget binding instant dot add post from core black dot scroll controller dot animate scroll controller position to max scroll extend okay so it has even added some duration here so we can do it like this or there is the other way we can do it so let's let me just test if copilot is code to work here okay so what i'll do is i'm going to come out of here and then restart so i don't know what was that error i don't know if we did restart let's restart again Are we doing it for this or what? Let's see. Okay, so we have an error. So it says the uh, failed to assertion line position is not empty. Scroll controller not attached to any scroll. Okay, we did not just attach the scroll the scroll controller. Okay, so we need to attach our scroll scroll controller to the uh, list view. Okay so let's cancel that and then let's close that so this is our list view here the grouped list view so here we also need to have a scroll controller the controller we're going to get our scroll controller all right now let's hot restart again so 
so I don't know if it okay it did here it is let's go here you can see that it has grown but it's growing uh okay it's growing up we want it to scroll down okay so what uh, we have to do here is to get the position so here we are saying that the max scroll extent okay so let's change this to min because here remember in our list view here we are saying we are telling it to to be reversed so instead of max we are going to say minimum scroll extent okay now if we come back here let's hold to restart let's see maybe it's still yeah it's loading let's get inside here you can see now that it's scrolling to the bottom of the screen okay now let's try to send a message let's get this other one here and get inside it's also scrolling so let's be somewhere here because this is the bottom and then let's send uh, fine thanks fine thanks how are you let's send that so once we send you can see that it's scrolling to the bottom so the scrolling is fixed and then i've noticed the other thing is when we send the message it's taking time to finish up and send okay so if you want if you don't like that effect of taking time what we can do is we can go back to the chat provider mm, where is that chat provider inside our providers here so where we are sending the message here we, you, here we are using a transaction so the transaction is waiting for all these methods to finish that's when it it's going to show up in our chat so if we don't want to do that what we can do is just await for each method to finish uh, if we do something like that it will show up first in our messages before it comes so that when we just send here it will happen faster okay so instead of this if you feel like when we send it takes time to show up here that can depend on your internet speed or it also waits for all this transaction to finish okay so what we can do is to go to this reference without using the transaction okay so what we can do is to cut this i mean let's first copy and then let's say await and then paste that okay now instead of doing a transaction here or oh, we don't actually need to go up to the transaction we just need to copy these things inside here and then put them here okay there all right so uh, we are waiting for this and then here let's close it we need to close it because uh, uh, what is happening here we are going to this document and then we need to set here don't set okay and then we are going to set this thing inside let's cut and set it there all right and then let's close it so uh what's happening here oh, there is this let's close it so we are going to send like this okay the first one we are just going to go direct to this file store and put it and then let's also do the second one uh, which is uh, getting it uh, let's get from inside here let's copy it and then after this one we do the second one we also say await then we do this and then also here we just say don't set and then we cut this we put it inside here then we just close it out there properly we remove this corner and then so let's also get this comment for the second one let's not leave out the comments then also this one let's also put it nicely let's cut it and then put it up here So like that, and then let's also get the third one. We also do the same. 
uh, yeah, Copilot knows what we are doing. It's going to do it now for us. We don't need to redo it again. So this is just this, which is on number five. Then here it will also do what's on number six. Because now it, it knows that we are copying it, we are doing it from up here, okay? So we have done all this now, we can remove this transaction, okay? We are just doing the same. I'm just going to comment it for you guys if you want to go back to use the transaction, okay? So this is exactly the same thing that was happening inside the transaction. It's only that the transaction was waiting for all these things to happen that's when it's going to call it successful but here we will wait for this we do this we do this we do it which is exactly the same all i want is just to display our messages faster here okay so i'm going to restart again let's just wait for the applications to restart here i don't yeah that one did and then here let's just say okay let's see how it will be responding now you can see now it's coming up here faster okay and then now it has finished everywhere so if you want this experience guys you can use just sending a message like that so i'm gonna leave it like this okay now let's continue so we have done the scroll automatic scrolling now let's hide the keyboard when we are like this and then we want to scroll down because when we click here it comes up now we want when we scroll down we want it to go away okay so to hide the keyboard let's just go back to the chat list and then we're going to wrap uh what uh, let's wrap this stream builder with a gesture detector okay we are going to wrap with the widget and then let's wrap it with a gesture detector. Okay. And then now here we are going to say on vertical scroll, on, on vertical drag down this one. Okay. Let's not do anything inside there. And then here, let's just dismiss our keyboard. Okay. Copilot knows. So let's click tab. So it does put this extra bracket. Let's just remove it now if we scroll down we are going to hide our keyboard let's hot restart okay it looks like we have hot restarted but let's let it finish so this one maybe it's already did if we scroll down you can see the keyboard is going away all right if we get inside here if we just scroll down i don't know why this one is go not going but let's try it again if we scroll down we can see that the keyboard now is no longer distracting okay if we were typing and then we decide no i want to see the messages which are up here we can just scroll down and then it goes away all right great so now we have dismissed this keyboard we have put automatic scrolling next let's add this uh, check mark if we send a message it should be able to say that the uh, the user has seen the message and then the other one has also seen the mess or, or not if it he has seen the message is going to have the two ticks okay so i think let's uh, keep these videos short so this one will end it right here on this one we're just fixing the automatic scrolling and the, this uh, and the hiding of the keyboard uh, thank you guys see you in the next video